In this video, we'll find the percent composition by mass for each element here in KCl. This is potassium chloride. So we have this equation here, which will help us. And we first need to figure out the molar mass for the entire compound, the KCl. When we do that, this is what we get. Note the units are grams per mole. So now we know the molar mass of the compound. We need to find the molar mass of the element and then the number of each element. So let's do potassium first. For potassium, on the periodic table, it's 39.10 units grams per mole. The number of potassium atoms, there's just one, so we don't really need to do anything here. We can divide that by the molar mass of the compound. We multiply by 100. And you'll note that grams per mole, it's on the top and the bottom. It cancels out. We end up with 52.45%. So this means if we had a sample of KCl, the mass of the KCl, the entire thing, 52.45% of that mass would be the potassium atoms. For the chlorine, on the periodic table, chlorine is 35.45 grams per mole. I won't write that since it cancels out. And we only have one chlorine atom. So we can just divide this by the molar mass for the compound, that's 74.55, multiply it by 100, and we get 47.55%. We add these numbers up, they should be very close to 100%. In this case, they are 100%. So that's how you find the percent composition for each element here in KCl, potassium chloride. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.